people of the internet, my name is JD Shadow, and I don't usually talk about pro wrestling here because this is usually a games channel, an anime channel, geek gaming culture, and stuff like that, but I have gotten into pro wrestling all my life, and this is a topic within the world, the realm of pro wrestling that a lot of people have a lot of different opinions of and I need to give mine because not only have I had a deep-seated opinion about this, but this is something that has caught fire recently because of someone who responded to another person. Now, the person who I am talking about is Martha Hart. Now, if you don't know who she is, she is the widow of one Owen Hart and for those people who are not in the know who have never heard of anything pro wrestling before in 1999 at the over the edge pay-per-view Owen Hart was scheduled to descend from the rafters of the Keel Center in St. Louis Missouri I forget what it's called now as his gimmick the blue blazer which was a kind of superhero type gimmick kind of lampshading Hulk Hogan and this was when the Attitude Era when Vince Russo was the writer and the significance of that the reason that's relevant is going to become relevant here in just a second but as he was starting to descend from the rafters a tragedy struck in which his harness that was supposed to be used in order to repel him down broke and he fell from the rafters of the keel center his head hitting the steel ring post on the way down and i think he landed on the canvas of the ring now there are conflicting reports of whether or not he died instantly or if it took some time in order for them to attempt to save him but from one of the memories that i have of watching this thing unfold on pay-per-view was is that right when they cut to the next match, they cut to the next video package for the next match, you heard the fans cheering and Owen Hart seemingly gave him the thumbs up sign. Now, the WWE never showed pictures of the actual thing that happened. You only saw shots of the crowd and it was a surreal moment and then later on in the night you heard Jim Ross saying that Owen Hart had tragically passed. He, well, his words is saying that Owen Hart has died and then that goes into a whole realm of controversy which we'll get to in just a second but the next night they did a Raw's Owen special Raw to commemorate his life and you heard all sorts of different stories about how Owen Hart was this great person he was a technically sound wrestler he was very talented in the ring he knew what he was doing he knew how to play to the crowd as a face and a heel he was both but here's where it gets a little interesting this is why the controversy becomes a reality first of all there was controversy surrounding whether or not they should have done the gimmick in the first place whether that night he should have not had been doing the repel now to be completely fair staying in wcw had done the same type of thing where he descended for the rafters however his harness was different in that his was seemingly more secure and wcw did not relinquish their performing that stunt after a and Hart's passing. The WWE stopped all forms of that kind of entrance since his passing. Now you can debate whether or not that was something that should have happened or could not have happened or shouldn't have happened. The, the consensus is on Vince Russo forcing Owen Hart to go through with this and there have been denials, there have been people who are saying he did, there are people saying that he pushed him to do it and there's all these different different accounts of things happening there but I don't know one way or the other whether or not that is the case we'll probably never know the truth about what exactly happened in the closed door meetings of what was to take place that night to me I do believe that this was something that no one could have foreseen happening I do believe this is something that everybody thinks could happen but it's hopeful it won't happen and it is just those unfortunate things that you know the dangers of when you get into pro wrestling when you get into that kind of high risk stunt that you know the risk going in and there was reports that maybe Owen Hart had bad feelings about that particular night but again we don't know the full story we probably never know the full story because there's conflicting reports now there's also the whole controversy of whether or not the show should have continued because there was other matches that night now first of all as I am aware the fans did 
did not know of his passing until after the last match, which was, I think, The Undertaker versus Stone Cold Steve Austin that night. I don't know the match order or what was transpiring that night, but it was after that match that I understand that the fans were who were in attendance that night were made aware of the passing of Owen Hart. However, the people at home knew it well beforehand since Jim Ross made that announcement. Now, there are a lot of opinions about whether or not that night should have continued, whether or not the event should have continued. And there are a lot of people saying, no, it should have not went on, it should have stopped right there. Other people are saying, it's a business, you have to keep going. And there's other people who could be saying, the fans need some distraction, it is such a negative thing, it was going to have such negative vibes that you have to do something in order for the wrestlers to be able to cope with what's going on. And there's other people saying, hey, you still have matches to do. You still have to continue on. And this is what Owen Hart would have wanted. He would want to have the show continue. Now, this is a debate that will continue until the end of time. I do not think there is a single person who doesn't have a different opinion. But it's that particular thing that is the center point with everything. There's the whole thing with whether or not WWE should have allowed Owen Hart to continue with that stunt, whether or not WWE was forcing Owen Hart into that stunt, and whether or not the show should have continued. My personal opinion about whether or not the show should have continued has to do, again, with what I heard the fans do right when they cut away to the next video package for the next match where it seemed as though Owen Hart gave the thumbs up to ensure that okay he's gonna be okay or he thought he was gonna be okay at that point in time so that to me single day maybe he was okay maybe he was okay with the match with the show continuing and then of course we all found out the tragic events and maybe at that point maybe you could then say okay what do we do because here's where I stand. That is something that no one's prepared for. You are not going to make a decision that's going to please everybody. You are not going to make a decision that's going to sit well with everybody. Because who is prepared to handle a death that they just seen in the ring? Who is prepared to announce something like that? We saw with the Dan Wilden fatal crash, the ABC ESPN reporters, they were probably known to be professional and be able to handle that sort of thing but you're never prepared to see that let alone announce it or report it and you can no doubt see that when Jerry the King Lawler had his heart attack in 2012 when in the middle of announcing a match Michael Cole he was a professional he knew what he had to do he was a former war correspondent he knew what he was doing he knew exactly how to report on things in a way that sounded more like a newscast but you could tell in the back of his mind he was worried he was scared that one of his friends died right in front of him how do you prepare for that and more importantly how do you know what to do in the wake of that sort of thing you're never going to make a quote unquote good decision and no matter what they did they were going to get criticized there was nothing they could have done to prevent that sort of thing either they stopped the show and they would have to do something in order to at some point Point, continue on with their storylines continue on with okay this is what we were planning plan to do at over the edge so we have to continue to do that show and give the fans who paid the tickets a compensation for what happened we had to stop the show because x and y happened or you continue on with the show hoping that people are okay with continuing a show even though someone who they admired someone who was a locker room friend to them had passed away from a tragic accident. Now, regardless of what you think about whether or not they should have stopped the show or continue on, that set into motion a long-standing feud between Owen Hart's widow, Martha Hart, and the WWE, to the point where she will not allow Owen Hart to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Now, in recent years, the WWE Hall of Fame has garnered some form of legitimacy. However, it is not completely legitimate yet. There 
are reports, there have been some rumors that Triple H has been wanting to build an official WWE Hall of Fame building somewhere in Florida. But those plans, if true, have not materialized yet. I would love to see that happen. I would love to see the WWE actually open a Hall of Fame like the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton or Cooperstown, the Baseball Hall of Fame. That would be an amazing thing. But one of the other things of a Hall of Famer is that people will always be able to remember who you were as an athlete and new generations will be able to know that you made an impact in the business. The fear however is something that Martha Hart is somewhat saying but there's other issues that came into light when she responded recently to Bret Hart's comments about her not allowing Owen Hart to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Now the reason why she has so much power is because when Owen Hart died she inherited his estate and his name and that's the best terminology I can use basically I don't know how it happened but in the wake of his passing that's exactly what happened she gained the rights to be able to tell people this is how I want him remembered this is what I want people to remember him for and if she says that she doesn't want Owen Hart to be recognized in that sense she can do that and she doesn't have to get any kind of permission from any other Hart family member whether it be Bret Hart, Knight Hart, anybody she does not need to get permission she can do whatever she wants with that name I don't know what caused that to happen and I don't know if anybody else does but somewhere along the lines that transpired and you probably could see if you saw the Hall of Fame induction ceremony in 2018 earlier this year that both Jeff Jarrett and Mark Henry gave not only Owen Hart stories but in Mark Henry's case he pleaded with Martha Hart he needs to be here he needs to be in the Hall of Fame they were pleading for Martha Hart to please let go of this grudge because she blames the WWE for Owen Hart's death she is saying it in such a way you would think that Vince McMahon went up to the Raptors and cut the line that sent Owen Hart flying down to his death that's how much she is blaming the WWE and I know that might be exaggerating but I do believe that that's how far she's taken it to think that maybe she wants to have this man arrested for murder that's how much she's hating this but not only that she did not like the fact that Owen Hart was even wrestling she did not like him being a part of the business she did not want Owen Hart to wrestle anymore and when he passed her fears were apparently verified they were justified apparently even though that would be probably the one time out of a thousand times that something like that could have possibly have happened he was the one out of a million that that could have happened to but in an interview with CBS Sports in this corner podcast Bret Hart was asked about Owen Hart not being in the WWE Hall of Fame and I want to read this to you before we get to Martha Hart's testimony before we get to her response then and I'll give my thoughts on this. Bret Hart, who is a Hall of Famer in his own right, saying, you can leave Owen Hart out or leave Dynamite Kid out of it or some of these great wrestlers, but why are you leaving them out of it? There are a lot of great wrestlers who haven't got their pat on the back at the Hall of Fame and started bothering me to the point where I don't think I will go again to any of the ceremonies until they put in proper deserving candidates. He then went on to say, you look at the people they have in the Hall of Fame, even some of these celebrities in there and you go for me personally with Owen not being in the Hall of Fame there is a lot of people that belong in the Hall of Fame that are not in it if it turns out that WWE is going to keep being a Hall of Fame that caters to suck ups and people who are in the company that feel they owe a favor to but never contributed to the business as wrestlers I question the whole Hall of Fame itself I wonder if there will ever be a real Hall of Fame that really caters to just the wrestlers he then went on to talk directly about Owen Hart saying quote I think Martha Owen's widow she's a very obtuse square headed person I think she's done more to erase my brother Owen's memory than she ever did to remember him I think it really bothers me that the fans that loved Owen so much didn't get a chance to remember him and of course he said other things in a couple of other interviews but the main gist of it is that he believes that Martha Hart is erasing the legacy and the memory of Owen Hart in the minds of other people in his mind she's definitely doing that and I'll get to my own thoughts here in just a moment however she has responded
responded in a press release by the Owen Hart Foundation, which I don't think I've ever heard of before I read this, saying, quote, the suggestion by Bret Hart that I am, quote, unquote, erasing the memory of my late husband, Owen Hart, is reckless, irresponsible, and clearly untrue. Bret's comments are rooted in the fact that I have steadfastly refused to work with the WWE to exploit Owen's image for commercial gain. Owen was an incredible entertainer, and I know that his many fans around the world enjoyed his wrestling career immensely. I encourage them to continue to do so. But I am firm in my belief that the WWE was responsible for Owen's death. As a result, I cannot and will not support any efforts by the WWE to profit from Owen's memory. Keep that in mind, we'll get back to that in just a minute. Instead, I, my son OJ, and daughter Athena have worked tirelessly to honor Owen through the good works of the Owen Hart Foundation, which has exceeded $4 million in gift giving and contributions towards scholarships, homeowner bursaries, and other special projects that have greatly improved the lives of so many in Canada and around the world. We have always believed that this is the most fitting public tribute to a man of profound integrity, a wonderful human being who just happened to wrestle. I know that Owen would be very proud of the tremendous accomplishments the foundation has achieved in his name. Bret Hart's comments are disrespectful and cruel. It is disappointing that so many in the media have chosen to report them without seeking my perspective. Whatever Bret may believe, the fact is that far from erasing Owen's memory, I have devoted the last 20 years to celebrating his life in a very public way. I can think of very few people who have been remembered so glowingly by their spouse. Okay, so let's get to the first thing that I think is very clear. She has no idea how much she did not even go into Owen's career as a wrestler. She did not like him being in wrestling. This Owen Hart Foundation, which is, I'm sure, done tremendous work. She has said that they've done tremendous work. Now, citation needs Needed, of course, you gotta prove that yes, you have done some great work in his name. But scholarships, home universities, special projects, how does that honor his legacy as a wrestler? How does that honor his legacy in the minds of his own family, who was a wrestling family? He was a great person, everybody has said he was. That is not up for debate. What is here is the notion that people want to see how talented he was, and for her to continue to deny that opportunity for those people who know him to be able to see his matches outside of maybe a DVD and to really see what he was like in the ring and outside the ring in the locker rooms and stuff like that is deplorable. That's really the only word I can describe that is deplorable. Now, this is not the only time that Bret Hart has actually said, Martha, you really need to come full circle here. You really need to let go of this. The WWE, according to her, was responsible for Owen's death. But how could they have done anything different? There are conflicting reports of what happened. So if you are saying, WWE, you are responsible. You need to explain how they're responsible and then perhaps they can reach out to you and maybe you can come to terms with them to figure out whether or not they could have done anything to help him live that night. And even then, what did you want them to do? Did you want them to just stop taping? Stop the pay-per-view? Did you want them to just have him retire? What could they have done that was different from what they did? Which we don't even know what they did because how many people have different stories about what exactly happened that night or what the feelings were that night? You do not know. Was he good in doing that stunt? There are conflicting reports of that. How do you have the moral high ground here? How do you have that? Now, if it has something to do with monetary monetary thing. If that's your main problem, then okay, that can be worked around. That can be worked out. If that's your main concern that, okay, WWE is going to put them in video games and stuff like that, which I don't see a very big problem with as long as it's done respectful and it's done tactfully, then okay, work with them in order to find a way that everybody will leave happy. But in this sense, there are people who are not happy with you. And maybe I'm being 
heartless about this. I don't mean to be. No pun intended about the heartless, by the way. And I understand when you grieve for your lost family member, when you grieve for people who you have lost throughout your life, that's not something that's going to be easily let go of. You're never going to really forget who he was. And there was no way that anybody could say, hey, you need to forget about who he was. And you need to forget about your feelings about that person. It's never going to completely go away. I should know. One year later, I still feel the effects of my cousin's death. That is not an easy thing to get over. If it is possible to fully get over a death of a loved one, of a family member. I get it. I understand it. But the way that she is phrasing this, it is heartbreaking. Because it seems to me that she wants people to forget Owen's contributions to the wrestling industry. It does seem that way. And the pleading and the begging for her to just let go of this grudge she has on the WWE. Because what else could they have done? Is there anything else you think they could have done different? What else could they have done? Because I don't see it. Maybe in retrospect, maybe if we knew then what we did now, maybe we just said, oh, and stay down on the ground and do a walk-in into the ring. But who could have known? Who could have foreseen something like that happening? It is nobody's fault but fate. It is nobody else's fault. No one's fault but fate becoming. And I know that's saddening to hear. And I don't mean that as any disrespect toward Owen Hart or the Hart family. But you have to think about the Hart family, which you have been married into. That is his family. Bret Hart is his brother. He should know Owen more than you do. Why do you have the final say on anything that happens to his legacy? Why are you the judge, jury, and executioner here? And quite honestly, I don't know of her personality. I don't know if she tries to be a nice person or outside of this, she means well or she has an ulterior motive to be this douchebag who is against everything wrestling, everything against the WWE. I don't know. And I don't claim to know that. I have no idea outside of what I've heard. But this is coming from a fan of the industry. Fan of pro wrestling. Of ECW, WWE, WCW, Ring of Honor, Major League Wrestling. And yes, even TNA, Global Force Wrestling, whatever you want to call it now. Yes, I do watch from time to time. This man deserves to be recognized by his peers. The people who he helped make the their lives better his best friends his family and his peers if you really think you want to help people remember who he was let go of this grudge it is not healthy Please take it, if not from anybody else, from somebody who has a lot of pent up anger that he held in for so long over dumb things. Things that could have blown over and instead was made into something much more than what it needed to be because he was not able to let things go, regardless of whether or not the anger was justified or not. You need to let this go. If you're concerned just for the WWE profiting off of a legacy in a way that you're not comfortable with, then you can work it out with them. But work it out with them. I'm pretty sure that people have been trying to get in touch with you and trying to be as nice as they possibly can with you to try to work this out. Bruno San Martino was able to get back into the Hall of Fame because he let go of this grudge that he had for so many years. And he finally let go of that because the WWE reached out to him and said wait a minute your omission from the Hall of Fame cannot continue what about the Ultimate Warrior what about Hulk Hogan who have done things that people feel are abhorrent have said things that are abhorrent words can be healed from I always believe that if they were never forgiving of anybody then the Ultimate Warrior would not be able to have his final goodbye at that Raw after Wrestlemania before his passing 
passing. And I will no doubt for the rest of my life say that he knew he didn't have much time left. The Ultimate Warrior did not have that much time left. So he did a eulogy and he was saying goodbye that night. Hulk Hogan recently got re-inducted into Hall of Fame because the WWE is trying to forgive. Because Hulk Hogan made a mistake. He made a mistake. Granted, that mistake came because he didn't know he was being filmed and he smacked down Gawker for that. But he made a mistake. He said something he shouldn't have said. A word he shouldn't have used. But to say that we should hold a grudge forever is not healthy. It has destroyed some of my psyche. It has destroyed a lot of people's psyche. You see what is going on in politics anymore. We have tried and tried and tried to have people who are continuing to hold people accountable for things they said 10, 15, 20 years ago. They won't let it go. Especially when it's not relevant to how they are now. Especially when they didn't hurt anybody physically. Especially when those are based on old thoughts, old attitudes that they don't hold now. But we still hold those things against them because I'm guessing it is the end thing to hold a grudge and to hold that anger in. And yes, I have lost friends because I thought that forgiveness was something that was never given to people. And I said things that I have regretted. And I've asked for forgiveness before. And you want to know how much it would please everybody involved if you say, you know what? Things could have been different. Mistakes might have been made. But we never knew that he was going to be the one in a million that the accident could have happened to. But that is not a reason to forget what his contribution was to everybody. Why he was such a revered figure in the business. I don't know if I could say this any more, any better than I am. I am just some fan who is talking on YouTube about this. But if my words can reach a lot of people or even to the person that needs to hear it, then okay. But assuming you are not this deplorable garbage person, which I don't know if you are. I don't know how good of a person you are. I don't know how bad of a person you are. If you are this garbage person who is just using his name in this foundation in order to gain box or whatever then okay then you need to be investigated and it pains me to say something like that but we need to be real here because the way that it seems it feels as though you want people to forget Owen Hart's contributions to the wrestling industry or that even had a career in wrestling how can we forget that he had a career in wrestling he died doing what he loved maybe that is something you might want to hear he died doing what he loved to do that is something that a lot of people will never get to say that the people who have crossed over into the spirit world or whatever religion you adhere to that is something that no person if the dead could talk right now could say that they have had died doing what they loved to do and he was somebody who loved the sport of wrestling and that is the one thing that you can let them remember and maybe you can put this grudge behind you Bret Hart might be completely correct maybe it's something you need to hear if it is not true that you are erasing his legacy then you would hear these words Mark Henry was right he needs to be in the Hall of Fame as irrelevant as you may think it is it does mean something to a lot of people if a lot of these people want to see him in the hall of fame that means they believe the hall of fame means something his fans want him in the hall of fame i might make another video if i hear anything else about this i would love to hear people's comments about what they feel about these latest words by martha hart and are we ever going to see owen hart in the hall of fame given this because I don't know any adjective I can use that could give this whole situation justice and to the other people the Hart Foundation the Hart family how are you letting this happen if it turns out that she is profiting herself off of the name of her husband you need to do something about that I hope that's not the case I don't think it's the case but at this point the frustration I see the frustration I feel that we are still seeing the same song and dance out of her makes me believe things that I 
rather not believe. So hopefully I am wrong. And if I'm right, may God help us all. My name's JD Shadow and that just happened.